Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. How's it going, everybody? My name is Leo, and today we are continuing the Backbone file. Where we last left off, we had uh, gone to West End to find uh, the missing women. Um, and we found that they all worked at the bite. We found that they were actually working with Clarissa um, in gathering info on clients. The uh, rich ones were blackmailed. The poor ones were kidnapped and slaughtered. And then the, girl, the girls went missing because they actually escaped over the wall. At least a couple of them did. Um, but after we found out all of that, uh, Renee went to go get food, and then Howie was ambushed by Clarissa and her goon. Um, they beat him up. She said she knew everything. She didn't know Renee's name, though. So, um, we don't know what happened to Renee. Um, we just went to Science City to try and figure out what Project Artifact is, which, um... In one of the missing women's notes, she had mentioned that a couple of her clients had talked about Project Artifact. So we're here at Science City. Um, Howie has a gun, so I don't know how that's going to come into play, but it should be interesting. Um, and yeah, I think we're getting close to the end of the game, so let's get going. Time to blend in and keep a low profile. I need to find Eddie, whatever it takes. So yeah, Eddie was the like science official who works under the science minister, um, who is who has info on Project Artifact. Also, by the way, it is thunderstorming right now. Um, I don't know where... Um, I don't know how long it's going to go, but if you can hear it, I'll do my best to edit it out, and maybe it'll go well with the ambiance. Who knows? Um, join the tour. Welcome once again to Science City where we imagine tomorrow. Please pay attention, do not attempt to leave the group, and enjoy. Follow me. Um, I'm not supposed to draw attention to myself, so I'll just say okay. Here we have the stunning mosaic depicting the Great Shepherd, commissioned 10 years ago by the previous science minister. Let's discuss the symbolism of it. Aha. The split crook is a symbol from which the shepherd gets his name. The inner fire represents the shepherd's wrath over the unruly, and of course, the scales of fate with which he weighed each of his new proclamations. Mm-hmm. And behind it all, the glorious wall, the shepherd's great work, which, figurati which figuratively and literally protects his followers from the malicious influences of the outside world. So... Maybe it's shown on the cork boards, but I never got the impression that the um, this was a walled off area, but there is a wall that they escaped over and no one knows what's on the other side. No one's allowed to go out there. So maybe that'll play a role in this as well. Before we move on, any questions? Was there something you didn't understand? Uh, what's with the cogs and steam? That section depicts industry, the great work of the great work and scientific advancement our kinds are capable of. What's up with the fruit? It represents the shepherd's love and understanding of nature. Grapes, pears, apples, all delicious, nurturing, and native to the land. I know where the mosaic is. Where are the toilets? <laughs> um, there will be a scheduled bathroom break later in the tour. No more questions. Moving, moving on now. Follow me. Let's go. I'm surprised they didn't... Oh. Next up. This bust was erected in honor of Harrison Jeffers, one of the founding committee for Science City and its principal planner. Is that who we... Is that whose apartment we broke into? Harrison Jeffers? Mm-hmm. Jeffers was a lifetime devotee of sacred geometry and designed the interior architecture to mimic natural structures and processes. What's sacred geometry? It's the concept of recurring patterns found throughout the natural world. 
When used in architecture or design, it's said to, to evoke feelings of calm and wholeness. What else did he build? His most, notably, his most notable other works are the City Art Gallery and Sun Tower buildings. He was the most plur prolific architect of his generation. Uh, I don't want to draw attention to myself I can, by being rude, so got it, let's move on. Ooh, I had a question. If our science gets advanced enough, will, it, will we be as powerful as the Shepherd? I'm going to stay silent. Well now, in many ways we already are, given we all carry the shepherd within our hearts. Each technological advancement, each technological advance is a shared glory. Okay. <laughs> I want to draw as little attention to myself as possible. There's plenty of fascinating sights still to come, but don't forget to stop by the gift shop afterwards and commemorate the visit with a miniature replica of the building. Uh, should we go? Everyone ready to continue? Let's go. Here you can see a perfectly scaled replica of the entire building. Besides the actual laboratories, you might notice the amenities for the families that live here, such as rooftop gardens and sports facilities. The folks here have everything. Absolutely, we're very proud of the, uh, of the support we're able to provide the city's brightest minds. Are the families allowed to leave? What? Of course. Although the facilities are such that they really need to, we spare no expense when it comes to those responsible for the scientific advancement of our city. This place is huge. The building is 112.47 meters tall and contains 17 floors. The replica is perfectly proportional. Nice. I wanted to ask, how many people work and live here? Uh, I'm gonna stay silent. Current residential population is 287, out of which 81 are working here. We have the means to accommodate more as our family grows, too. I'm gonna stay silent. <laughs> I, if I'm not drawing attention to myself, I don't want to... I don't want to draw suspicion. I'm not gonna say any, try to, I'm gonna try to say anything rude. Moving on. This lab has been specially set up to give you an idea of what's going on in the upper levels. It's a real working environment. Aha. But of course, it's only being used for routine calculations. Plenty of what we do here is very sensitive and potentially disturbing to the untrained eye, after all. How disturbing? I think I misspoke. It's just that experiments can often look intimidating when they're actually perfectly safe and controlled. Oh, it's just that experiments can look intimidating when they're actually perfectly safe and controlled. Um... She's not allowed, she's not allowed to say what's being worked on for real. Okay. Okay, let's move on then. What's next? Science City Museum. Let's look closer at life within Science City. Have you ever wondered what our, what one of our famous scientists' living quarters looks like? I've always wondered. Well, now you can find out. Each room is full of experimental technology and appliances, being tested before being made available to the general public. <laughs> so the residents are being tested on. Hmm. I don't want to... Hmm. That's certainly one way of... So res residents are being tested on. That's certainly one way of putting it, but I assure you, only for their benefit. You won't hear any complaints from our residents. Of course you won't. <laughs> uh, I really don't think I should be asking you about the labs. Um, and this is just going to make me sound like uninterested and mean, so I'm just going to be fascinating. On we go. I don't, I don't think it matters all that much, but for like role playing, um, like purposes, 
just in case it does matter, I don't want to, like, yeah. We'll stop now for a short refreshment break. The restrooms are around the corner. We'll, re we'll resume the, to the tour in five minutes sharp. Finally, it was getting close. <laughs> Ahem. Just catch up with us down the hall, sir. Or don't. See ya. Wow, that rude. Oh, my... Toilets. Staff only. And I'm not allowed to go that way. Gonna hide in the toilet until they leave. Just like good old school days. Oh, whoops. They're gone. Let's see if the elevator works. They have to, like... Know what they're doing, right? Like, there's no way they would just leave me on my own, right? Are they really that trusting? Plaque. Biochemistry labs are on floor five. I'm coming, Eddie. Oh boy. Where are you, Eddie? I'm gonna go to crouch. Microbiology lab. So biology, but small. Testing lab. What are they testing in there? Doesn't matter. I have a gun. Oh boy, this is not going to go well. So yeah, if one of their tests escapes, I have a gun. Okay, botanical. Botanical research. People are terrible and plants are our only hope. No way of knowing whether Eddie works in any of these. It's true. Might have a read later. A gossip magazine, the headline is 10 tips to getting fit while doing housework. Why? Okay. Poster. Nowhere is safe from this propaganda shit. <laughs> um, they, did they misspell science on that poster? I think they forgot the N in science. Praise Sias. The garden? Uh... Am I allowed to be here? Should I uncrouch? Fishies! We have Matthew. We have Alexander. Oh, that looks like a doctor, dude. We have Bethany, a chicory stand, I guess let's talk, chicory, wish I had time for a cuppa, Bethany, are you lost, it doesn't look like you should be up here, I'm helping Eddie Hung, Oh, that's interesting. I know he's been stressed lately. I'm glad he's getting some support. What's life like here? We've got all the amenities. It's safe. People have edu people here have education, supposedly. What are you implying? Nothing you don't already know about yourself. Okay, I can't tell if that was a slight towards me or if... She just, I don't know. Mm. What's Eddie Hung like? He's respected. Smart. I heard he's caught the eye of some powerful people recently. I just hope he knows how to handle it. Anything else I should know about him? Not from me. What kind of work goes on here? Intense science. How long have you been a scientist? Since straight out of school? It runs in the family. You're upholding a tradition. Yes, you understand. Anyone I should watch out for? Heh, <laughs> I'll let you figure it out yourself. That's part of the fun. Any other tips for a newbie? Work hard, kiss ass, don't fuck up. <laughs> that I can do. That's the spirit. I better go. Don't want to be late on my first day. Hmm, be seeing you, I guess. Bye. 
Hold on. Is it just me? Or did the two sprites switch seats? Am I making that up in my head? I could have sworn the guy with the coffee cup was on the left. And the guy and the person with the clipboard was on the right. Did they switch seats? I'll have to look at I'll have to look back at that later in editing. <laughs> Matthew? Howdy. You lost two? Nope, I totally belong here. Oh, uh, okay. Nice place you got here. How'd you get lost in the first place? Oh, I just got distracted looking at stuff. Then I wanted to try out the elevator, and here I am. You have a talent. I know, I know. Pops is always telling me. Your head would set sail if it wasn't tethered to your neck. <laughs> Ooh, would you take a photo, please? A photo of you? Yeah, make sure you get the cool viewing shot. I'd better not, germs. Fair enough. I'll have to take one of myself. If only there was a cool name for that kind of photo. Cell photos, me snaps. <laughs> this, is, this is a stupid idea. Bye. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Alexander? Fine day for it, sir. Are you the gardener here? I'm proud of it. Three years next week. Our green spaces have really come a long way in that time, if I may say so myself. You may say so yourself. Well, I started a sy systematic repotting of the existing plants, but my main achievement is, cross is my cross-pollination program. What does that involve? Making tiny little plant mutants. No, that sounds scary. Basically, I'm, I'm making crossbreeds of various kinds of plants. Wow, that sounds very big brain. I'm not technically a botanist, but, you know, I dabble. With plants, you just have to feel it, and listen to them. Good that you love your job so much. Other scientists here look down on me, but I get to spend all day working with plants, so the joke's on them. Hey, do you know Eddie Hung? I really don't go in for gossip. I just focus on the green people. This isn't gossip. It's a- oh, no problem. I'm so sorry I can't help. I'll just go back to pruning. Bye. Would you by chance- oh. Sniff the flowers. If I start, I won't be able to stop. Have work to do. Is this Eddie? Yup. City view. The wall looks beautiful today. Oh boy. I'm on my break. Dr. Hung, I'd like to get some advice. I am, but I don't have time to babysit. You're a real inspiration to me. Yeah, what exactly about my work has inspired you, boy? Heard that you're catching the eye of the higher-ups. Maybe you didn't know. But spreading baseless gossip is liable to cost you more than a demo demotion to toilet cleaner. You got it, Eddie. Wow, he's rude. He just walked off. New objective. Inf infiltrate Eddie's lab. Okay, so... Now is about the time where I should probably start crouching. Is there anything more... No. I love the backdrops in this game. The The art design is so well done. Where did he go? I'm going to go ahead and crouch. Read the, oh, I'm, I'm reading the newspaper? Why am I reading the newspaper? Oh. That was in lab two, right? Okay. He 
He's in the middle of the two. He's alone. This is my chance. Is he... Oh, I'm just doing this right here right now. Threaten Eddie. Oh, boy. I have a gun. Open the door. Don't make a sound. Okay, calm down. That was quick. No oh boy. Sit down. One sound and you're dead. Is this necessary? What do you want? Shut the fuck up. Cable. Restrain. Oh my god. Answer my questions. Understand? Yes. Do I hit E? Or I'm afraid of hitting E early and like missing stuff. Plants. Okay. What are these plants? It's basic sea algae. I'm testing its photosynthesis properties. Oh boy. What am I looking at here? A new virus? A new virus, perhaps? It's a plant cell. The green clumps are merely nucleosis and chloroplast. Okay. What are these machines for? Well, one is my radio. The other is a signal generator. Now, let's see if I can get the truth out of you. Oh boy, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm hitting E. There we go. Who are you? It's none of your business. I ask, you answer. Okay. Just don't get angry if the answers don't conveniently fit together. What's Project Artifact? Where did you invent such a fanciful name? You spilled it while getting drunk at the bite. Where? Well, it sounds ludicrous. If there is any such project going on here, I'm sure not privy to it. You better think again. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. What's your connection to Clarissa Bloodworth? Connection? I've never met her. Then how does she have blackmail on you? What? You're the only one with an unhealthy interest in me. Clarissa's interested in this lab. Why? I... Why would she? I would have no idea about it. I don't consort with criminals. You're lying. I'm sorry. She's notorious. But I'm a scientist, not a gangster. What's your relationship to the science minister? I'm just a research scientist. Why would I have a relationship with him? Because he asked you to keep a secret. If he did, and I told you he didn't, why would you believe me anyway? You take secret orders from him directly. No, there are strict protocols here. Chief Tanner has final oversight. I have a copy of, re of a report you made directly and only to the minister. What? How? I mean, sure, of course he gets copies of my reports. It's not like he replies. The minister warned you to never reveal what he's researching. Look, I'm doing important work here. Work that will help us fight disease, understand our bodies. I'm just doing my job. I'll be the judge of that. I'm being honest with you. Tell me about yourself, Eddie. I'm a biochemist. Worked here virtually my whole life. I'm an, and I'm a devoted family man. How did you get into the field? Aptitude. It's, and it's always in demand. It's a safe niche. It helps people. Hmm. So it's steady. Got someone looking out for you here? I've got great colleagues. We're well looked after. What more could I ask for? You're a slave. Maybe. 
a useful, safe, and happy slave. Eddie, I know you're not telling me the truth. What? Don't be ridiculous. I t I've told you everything I know. Please, be rational. The simplest explanation is usually the true one. Clarissa and the science minister are using you. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I told you everything I know. Please. Just say the words. Meanwhile, let me look for something sharp. Oh, jeez. Scissors. Flask of acid. Syringe. Jeez. Oh my goodness. The, mu the music here is like... Putting me on edge. Um, let's go for the scissors, I guess. Please, please stop. You don't have to do this. I wonder what would happen if I stick these into your eye socket. Wait, wait, okay. I'll show you the artifact. Good, that would have been messy. He's lying. He's going to, like, knock me over and try to run. There's a secret entrance behind the shelf to the left. I'll give you the tour. Use your words, Eddie. What's in there? It's a technology I'm researching. Impossible to describe. Please, let me show you. It's... Yeah, no. This is... He's, he's totally lying to us. Okay, let's go. Uh, no. You go in front. Go to secret lab. Oh my god. Lizards. Ah, yes. My lizards. What are you doing to them? It might be easier to explain by showing you what happens to them. I think lizards are awesome. I hope it doesn't upset you to learn that they're valuable research specimens. Let's get to the point, Eddie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you go in front. Weird skull. Fascinating, is it not? What is this? We don't know exactly. Evolution is not my specialty, but it's clearly a significant find. How is it significant? It's either some kind of ancestor or an extinct kind. Never seen anything like this before. Show me the artifact. That one's disgusting. Lizard man. This is Daryl 5. Eddie, what the ever-living fuck am I looking at here? This is what the minister has me working on. This feels wrong. What the fuck? This is science. Right? Wrong? All that matters is new understanding. Start explaining. We're, ex we're experimenting with recom... Recombinant DNA. Splicing species. Daryl V is a combination of lizard and canine. Oh. So they're creating chimeras? Why? Yeah, why? It's the artifact. I control it. I teach it. What is the artifact? You can see it for yourself. Show me. It's there in the hazmat tent. Let's go. Quarantine dome? No, I want you to keep going in front of me. The artifact is highly sensitive, but it's kept in, caref in a carefully controlled and protected environment. Why does it need so much protection? It's the greatest scientific puzzle and opportunity of our time, and I alone get to study it. What did you learn about it so far? It's advanced organic biotechnology. It rapidly reforms organisms, but we haven't figured out its patterns or intent yet. Who found it? I don't know. I'm as in the, I'm as in the dark as you about exactly where it was found. Who could have made it? I have my own private theories, but it's pointless to speculate. <laughs> aliens, I fucking knew it. No, not aliens. The processes it uses are advanced, but they're still within the confines of our understanding of biology. Okay, it's now or never, I guess. 
It's not easy to look at, just so you know. I'll cope. Mm-hmm. Just be careful. Don't touch anything. There's still so much we don't know about how it reacts to stimuli. Okay. I don't... What is happening? Okay, it's a cutscene. Why am I going to touch it? Uh... No? No? What is happening? Oh my god. Why did he- why did you touch it? New objective. Find Anatoly. So now I have the artifact in my system, right? I can't go left. I can only go right. Uh... I was told not to touch anything. The music is very distorted. This is not good. Am I, like, some kind of... alien now? Am I some kind of mutant killer thing? This is not the turn I thought this was gonna take. And also, what happened to Eddie? What is happening? That's the shepherd in the background, that float. What is happening? This is so trippy. Oh, what is happening? Oh, I still can't move left. I don't know why. It, am I, like, blacking out? Oh. There, there's me and Renee. I have to be hallucinating. Oh, there's plants growing all over the, growing all over the theater. There's the kids. There's Odette. Oh, I'm- is this water now? What the heck is happening? This is so trippy. This is also so cool. These environments. Oh, the environment's looping. I've already passed Foxy Burger. That's Clarissa with blood on her mouth. Still can't walk left. Uh, is this just, like, other raccoons throwing trash over me? Or is that, like, my mom- is that his- Howie's mom and dad? The water's rising. Is that me eating myself? Call mom. I did call mom. Says uh, at the theater. Is that. What is that? Is that his mom? Keeps looping. There's Anatoly. What is happening? Oh, this is not good. What is happening? Uh... Act, act four, a apoptosis? What is happening? We change. But we change nothing. So, is Anatoly dead now? Anatoly's dead now. 
We are an alien artifact. Um, I got an achievement for completing Act 3, by the way. I'm in my apartment. Time moves through you, and you stand still. You are alone. I don't want to be alone. Now I don't want to find Renee. What happened to Renee? Nobody will ever understand you. You are just a projection inside their heads. I want to be moved. Nothing moves you anymore. All the people you thought you were... All the people you thought you were are long dead. Every day you die anew. You felt all there is to feel. I imagine her moving me. Her face is covered in a thin red veil. Her black gaping mouth is laughing at you. How silly. How small. How insignificant. I call out her name. You change, but you change nothing. I don't want to change. There is always a last time that you see everyone. There's always a never again. I exist again. New objective. Meet people or spend time alone. Make a plan? Question mark. Mattress. Stale smell of damp ground and sweat. Where am I? Mirror. The sole purpose of the sole purpose of my existence is so you can gaze upon yourself through me. I am here for you. I will always be here for you. Gaze upon myself. Your face looks different. Your body is transforming. You are a being stuck in a perpetual becoming. You don't recognize yourself, but that's all right. Look at my face. Scars of lives lived, paths taken, words pronounced. The newborn flesh is ripping through the seams, discovering the boundaries of what it means to be you. I know who I am. This will not last. Touch my face. Your fingers stick to the surface of your cheek, tissue stretching as you rip out a small patch of flesh. It immediately grows back. Look deep into my eyes. Your dilated pupils reflect dim light coming from the opening in the tent. Your irises are unstable, liquid spheres of muddy color. Refocus the gaze. Take another look. Let me know what you think. Try to recognize myself. Not much is left of the person you once were. Some parts are still there, lingering. It goes in the caverns deep down that pronounce, I am, I am, I am. Nobody can hear you scream. Scream. The air is pierced by silence as you watch your mouth gape open and emit a single short breath. You are, you are, you are. Who am I? You are me. I am you. I don't like this. I, well, I don't like it from a, like, this is creepy and disturbing. But also, from a storytelling standpoint, I don't know how to feel about this. Refocus the gaze. Look, look at my back. Multiple bulbous tumors are tearing through your shirt, pulsating, hungering for control over your lean, dehydrated flesh vessel. Smell the air around me. Every person has a distinct scent. Yours is different now. There is something new commanding your being in yet unknown directions. Let's touch the tumors. Wet, malleable, greasy tissue. Your fingers make indentations in, in its doughy exterior. Something inside of it is pushing back with force. The flesh speaks again, but in a language you can't understand. Focus the gaze, stumble away. Goodbye, old friend. I will see you again when the skies reach the horizon. Goodbye. Uh, go outside? Howie, you're finally awake. You had me worried. You've been out for two days. What's happening to me, Larry? You're asking me? What the fuck is that thing on your back? What have I done? What have I done, Larry? I don't know, bud. Nothing good. But you're among friends now, under the bridge. How did we get here? Through the sewers. I found you in an alley, in the alley, near a dead body, but there was no weapon or anything. You were totally out of it. Did I kill Anatoly? Let's talk about this later, okay? 
You're going to be all right. Better not to worry. It's this thing. It killed him. What do you mean? What do you mean? This thing, it pierced him. Howard, it's not your fault. Please, I want to help you. I'm so sorry. It's the thing on my back. Howard, calm the fuck down. You're fine. It's all right. We'll figure it out together. I don't know what to do. It's honestly best if we don't talk about this right now. You're still in shock. I don't want to make it worse. Are you hungry? What's happening to me? You've been in and out with a bad fever. What's that thing on your back? I don't know. I don't know shit. How does it feel? It's pulsating. Dear me. I don't know. My mind is foggy. What the fuck, dude? How does this, how did this happen? I was infected by an organism in a secret government lab. Um, sure. You must still have a fever. How can I help? I fucked it. I fucked everything up. Calm down, Howie. We're together, and we're safe. I've got to get out of here. Got to warn her. Who? About what? This thing, it's not safe. You're babbling. Take it easy. How about a nap? I've got to tell Renee every... Um, I've got... Yeah. Now's... I need to, like... It's officially okay to be in panic mode. I've got to tell Renee everything. Larry, please. You're not going anywhere, the state you're in. Who's Renee? She's the one I need to protect. Okay, but maybe not in your current state. I'm scared, Larry. Listen, we'll figure out what to do later. Sun will go down. We'd better get a fire started. Can you walk? Sure. I'll rustle up the start of fuel. Can you get some firewood? Ask people at the camp where to find it. Are there people out there? I'm a freak, Larry. They're not going to judge you. Introduce yourself. Get to know them. This is your new home, after all. Introduce myself? What if I hurt someone? You won't. I'm alright, see? I gotta go run some errands away from camp. We'll make a plan together, later. I promise. Sure. A plan. We'll figure this out, as a team. I'll take care of you, but I need to do a thing first. Now go find some wood. Make sure it's dry. Okay. Jeez. Go outside, I guess. Tent. He's also walking super funny. Casey. Hey, ya. I'm Howard. Nice to meet you. Hey, Howard. I'm Casey. Sorry about the look. It's okay. Did Larry tell you about me already? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry. Bye. Sorry, I'm just very tired. I know the feeling. B? What is even... What is happening? I'm so confused. And where am I even supposed to go? Hang on. Wait, are we outside the wall? Everything looks so run down here. Oh no, he said they're under the bridge. I don't know where that is though. Let's talk to B. Hey, hey, new guy. Excuse me, but are you okay? I don't know. Okay then. I'm doing my skills. Can't talk. Toot you later. Toot toot. Fire pit. Looks well used. Smells kind of good, actually. 
Ryan and North. Sorry, concentrating. What are you playing? Beggar's blind. I'll teach it to you another time. Oh, I'm Ryan. Howard. Hello there, old chap. My ma, you don't look so good. Sorry about that. It's quite all right, chap. Glad you're up. I'm North. Welcome to the camp. Sorry about me. If you'd like to talk about it, that's cool. But no one here is going to pry, so worry not. Need a third player? Ah, I'm afraid this game is halfway through. Maybe we can deal you in on the next one. Or perhaps tomorrow? Cool. Good luck. Can I run? I can run. Okay, cool. So left is the right way to go. Oh, man. Okay. So, what's even going to happen? Do I still have meet people or spend time alone? Well, I'm meeting people, so... Dio. Oh, my God. Oh, you're the sick guy? Welcome. Name's Dio. Wait, are you the Dio that messaged Rose? How do you know about Rose? And I and don't fucking lie to me. I will know and I will fuck you up. Daisy Bloom. How do you know that? It's a long story. I was investigating the bite. Investigating it for whom? S speak straight, boy. For my partner, Renee. She's an investigative journalist. And what were you investigating exactly? Clarissa Bloodworth and what she did to the girls. Well, you're a shitty investigator then. How so? I'm a scavenger. I get people over the wall. Rose is safe. Clarissa is the one sponsoring the whole operation. Excuse me? Rose is safe? What does that mean? She's alive. That's all I can tell you. What about Leslie Pham or May Louder? Leslie is with Rose. May didn't make it. What do you mean she didn't make it? She was shot on the way there. I'm sorry. Shot by whom? Whom do you think? Border Patrol. We did what we could. I can't tell you anymore. I won't relive it again. Can't you tell Florence? It kills me, but no. For Rose's safety, she can't know. One slip and that'd be it. I'm glad Rose is okay. Yeah, every person out of this shithole is a huge achievement. Clarissa is funding you? We have a deal with her, yeah. She helps get the people out. But she's a fucking murderer. I heard about that. I don't give two shits about where the money comes from, as long as I can go outside and help people. I... I'm not quite sure what to say. Then don't say anything. And don't say anything. I'm not going to discuss my moral compass with you. Get fucked if you don't like it. Do, do the other folks here know about what you do? No. It's not often, but sometimes a girl will wait here until stuff is ready. People know not to ask. That's trusting of you? Not really. I don't leave shit to chance. So you've helped other people escape too? Not as many as I'd like. It's a risky process. What is the process exactly? The hardest part is convincing people that it'll work. Then we find a window of opportunity. You're incredible. I, kn I know why people want to escape over the wall. It's just something I have to do. Still, must be super hard on you. Huh. You're right, it is. Not sure if anyone's ever acknowledged that. Maybe I didn't even. Can you take me outside the wall? No. Don't ask why. In fact, stop asking so many questions. Okay. Maybe later. No. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. Eh. Felt good to talk about it, actually. 
Do you know where I can find some firewood? Keep on heading left. It's not exactly a forest, but you'll find it. It was nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, we found Dio. I thought that name sounded familiar when I walked up to him. Dry tree. The branch looks promising. Firewood. So... What's going to happen to me? Am I sleeping? Death is coming to us all. No reason to be uncool about it. I'm pretty chill about it, actually. It's not like you have a choice. Of course I have a choice. Are you sure? Yes. Interesting. I know you better than anyone, and yet I can't tell if you're lying. You don't know me. Nobody does. You can never truly know anyone, most of all yourself. Time to wake up. I exist again. Hmm. Nothing over this way, I guess. So when I go to sleep, the artifact just takes over my mind. So what is happening? Like, what happens now? The tent. There's Larry. Got what? Sure, now what? Howie, you do remember how fireworks, right? Larry, I never appreciated you enough. That's nice of you to say, but so much has changed since we started a bunk bed, bunk bed in the dorm. It's okay. I know. I wish you could meet Renee, though. Renee is the most important thing to you, isn't she? She's my partner, and she could be in danger. Doesn't seem like she's trying very hard to find you, though. She has to be careful. She'll do everything she can. I believe in her. Maybe. But you don't need her, Howie. I can't do this without her. So go find her. See if I care. Larry, it's not personal. No? Because it feels like you're always finding an excuse to ditch me. Just like back then, when you wanted to live with a girl and I had to move out. So what do you propose? Stay here. With us. You could do some real good here. Hmm. And then what? What comes after? I don't know, Howie. I'm just living it one day at a time. You should try it. Can you show me how? Look, let's just get through tonight. Tomorrow we can figure out a plan for whatever you want to do. Ugh, fine. Okay, fine. Okay then. Saving. You again. You again. I am what I am. You are what you are. I am my thoughts. And what are they made of? Whatever I decide. What is yours? What is yours, and what is theirs? You are created in the image of someone else. Someone else only exists inside of you. Endless cycle of creation. Brace yourself for the current. I am ready. You won't ever be ready. Change sweeps you away when you least expect it. And then you've changed. But you change nothing. I exist again.
wake Larry up. Or just go outside. Let's go ahead and wake Larry up. Ugh, what time is it? I don't know. It's nice not knowing. Sleeping is sleeping is nice too. Um, I'm going for a wander around. Hang on, can we have a chat first? What happened to you, and what happened to you, and what's our plan? Yeah, you want to know what happened? Yeah, share the weight, dude. Bloodworth is killing people, and apes eat them. What? Is that a metaphor? And, the, the, and then there's some fucked up research at the Science City. Like what? Some kind of DNA splicing. And something got into me. Fuck. You know I always got your back, Howard. You know I always got your back, but I'm out of my de depth here. How can I help? Can you track Renee Wilson down? I can ask around my usual contacts. A few of us keep our ears to the ground and trade rumors. But do you have any leads for me? Hmm... Hmm. It's a hunch, but check the burning park. If you say so, there's a streetie we know who often hangs out there too. I'll ask him to keep an eye out. Looney? I met him. Tell him I say hi. Okay, that's a story for another time, I guess. I will do. What's this girl look like? She's a young fox. Clever, cynical eyes. Good posture. <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. You might owe me some slightly unusual... You might owe some slightly unusual people or people a big favor, though. Can you get me some meds to treat my condition? I don't know, man. I have a few sources, but do you even know what's wrong with you? There's no telling what I've got can even be cured. Sorry. Maybe ask Roger? He's a doctor. I need to find a way to let people know what's happened to me. And then what? Even if they believe you? I'll figure it out. One step at a time. If you say so. I'm ready to make a decision. What'll it be? I can only do one thing today, but we might try again tomorrow. Hmm. Try to find Renee. Because this, it'll get shot down. This, I don't even know what to look for. Renee is a thing that I can look for and find. She, she can help me. And she, I know she will be, I know she will be willing to help me. I don't know. Yeah, try to find Renee. I'll ask the usual suspects, but I really can't promise anything. You're a true friend, Larry. I'm glad to be. Wish me luck. In the meantime, get to know folks. Maybe help prepare the group dinner tonight. You sure I'm invited? Of course. You're one of us now. You should help them out while I'm gone. All right. See you later, Larry. New objective. Attend the group dinner. Wait for Larry to return. Meet people or spend time alone. Make a plan. Okay. Go outside. Oh, there's more people here than ever. Okay, and with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, this definitely took a turn for the strange um i was not expecting to be uh i wasn't expecting parasites i wasn't inspecting i wasn't expecting an intelligent dna splicer i certainly wasn't expecting howard to get infected 
Um, yeah, this definitely, like... Definitely took a turn into left field, for sure. But, um... I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. I really hope we don't kill Renee. I like Renee. I even hope, like... we Maybe we could play as Renee. I think that would be really cool. Um, but something tells me that would be saved for a sequel if they make one. But, uh, yeah, next time we're going to talk to all the homeless people and then see what happens next. So thank everybody so much for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. If you want to be notified of when I upload the next part of the file to the archives, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, as well as leave a like or comment if you so desire. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.